So what did we discuss in the last class about the flows? We saw platform event trigger flow. Platform event trigger, okay, chat repos. So today, let's okay. Yesterday, we discussed about the charter post, which is a notification event on the notification. As soon as the uh, record is hit for the platform event, as soon as we publish it, then we are posting the we are posting the charter to the a uh, specific group. Let's assume that um, in the same direction, as soon as the platform event hear anything, the message. So what I'll do is I wanted to create a record. So we'll create a record, which is a contact record. Let's go ahead and create a contact record. So for that, what I'll do is new action and we'll take a contact here, new contact. This is by default, it, it will come. If you select a contact here, you will see the new contact and it will display all the mandatory information. What are the, what are the fields are mandatory? It will display by default. So what I'll do is let's add the label create contact create contact and the last name is platform event. Let's get platform and then let's add the first name. Okay, and that's all. So click done. So what we are doing here, as soon as the platform event here about the uh, event, then we are just creating the record and posting into the group. Now let's create a new version for this. Save version two will be created. Okay, let's activate it. Right. So uh, let me go to the developer console. Okay. So how do how do I fire it? Notification. Notification event. The name of the event that you created. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and initialize it. Event equal to new notification event. Notification event. Okay, after that. Event, event dot, dot message. Message. Let's say created contact for platform event, then event dot source source. To from com. Now, how, how do I publish event it? Buzz, event buzz dot publish. Event buzz dot publish object. What is the object here? Event, event is the object. And let me go ahead. 
and execute this. Before I execute, let me put the debug block. Debug logs. Delete all. New. So, which one do I need to select the traced entity type? Automated process. Automated process, yes. And 30 minutes should be fine. Yeah. And debug log, SFTC did console. Let's click on the save. Now, let's go to the developer console. Let's execute the highlighted one. So, there should be event. The debug log is created. Yeah, it created success view. So it created the log. Okay. So contact record and this dot com. Email, no email. Okay. Duplicate tool ID it executed. It should be fine. On contact, we have a something uh, other changes also. So that got executed. That should be fine. But our interview is started here and ended here, which is up to here. Our flow got executed. So let's go ahead and see the contact. event platform it created right first name and last name is so did it take the random phone number and email because we have not specified it anywhere yes it is not specified but uh, i have a code i guess to update whenever there is a no email oh. just write the note at the rate email.com so i guess i have a trigger if we are not uh, given anything then it will be blank Yes, it will be back. Triggers. Okay, so let me deactivate this. Can you guys go on mute, please? So all the triggers are deactivated right now. So let me go ahead and pop publish again. <laughs> so debug and publish it again, execute the highlighted one. Let's go to the contact. There should be another one which should be created. Okay, uh, the second one. Event platform is created. We do not have any phone number or nothing used. Just we have given the first name and last name. So that's it. Okay. So if you see the debug log, right now the debug log does not have any trigger execution. So the duration is very less. Before it was a 1407. So right now it is a 416. So I guess right now it is executed only the flow part and the duplicate row. Yeah, right. So yeah, so that is how we create a, any record based on the platform event hit. Clear?
Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let's understand few other components in the flow which we use in our real real time. So let's deactivate this. Go back. So let's go ahead and create a screen flow. Okay. So the requirement is, um, let's assume that I have a contact, okay? Whenever I'm creating a new contact, I just need, uh, I'm going to build a screen that has I'm going to build a screen which has only the last name. This is the last name. And I'm going to build a pick list. This is the pick list. And this pick list is, which is the account, account. So ideally what will happen when we are creating here contact, if I click on this, it will be shown on below, right? So same thing I'm going to implement it, but using the pick list. And I, uh, we are going to see account names. When we click on a drop down, we are going to see all the accounts that are there in the system. Fine, this is the screen that I'm going to implement it. So let's go ahead with the screen flow, create. Now let's use the screen flow. Name of this screen flow is get contact details. Okay, so I do not need I do not need pause button. Okay. So this is fine. Then what do I need? I need to add a last name. In order to add a last name, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a text. text. So for this text field, I'll give last name. And it is a mandatory field for the contact. Right, default value, we do not have any default value. So I'll just click on done. Next, last name. After the last name, I need a pick list. I need a pick list, which is going to show me the all the account records, name of the account names. So for that, what I'll do is I'll click on a new resource. In new resource, we have something called record choice, choice set. Sorry, any question? Uh, it is a pick list choice set, right? Yeah, pick list choice set. No, no, no. We are going to get the record choice set. We are, I'm not going to uh, retrieve the pick list values here. Okay. okay. We'll talk about the pick list choice set also, how to use it. Right now, what I'm going to do is we have all the accounts, right? These accounts are there. Whatever these account names are there, I'm going to show these account names in the screen. Okay. So let's see the record choice set. And the API name is let's use the accounts. And these accounts, my object is account. account. On the account, we have something called as filter account record. Which all the accounts do I want to take it? Do I want to take all the accounts? Only specific one. So I'll say that industry equal to banking, we have a quote in record. So I'll take the industry.
industry equals to banking. Fine. Then we have a configure each choice. Now this is my choice label. When I say choice label, which field do I wanted to show it in the drop down? For us, we wanted to show account news. I wanted to see the account news. So however, here on the account level, are we able to see that, right? So when I click on a new account, I'm able to see the, all the account names here. So I'm interested in account name. So my choice is name. So let's go to the flow. My choice inside the account is, we, we, we can able to see all the fields. Basically any field I can take it as a choice, but right now let's go ahead and take it as a name. So which is an account name. Account name and what is the data type for this? It is a text and the data type is text and whoever selected that particular account at the back end, how my value has to be stored. So my value should be stored as a ID. My value should be stored as a ID. That means when I go to the contact, okay? So when I select the new contact, here I'm selecting the name. But as soon as I select the name, it is actually at the back end, it is taking as a ID. I'm selecting the one tech Dell Lightning, which is a text format. But as soon as I click on save, as soon as I click on save, at the back end, the account is a ID because when I click on this, it will redirect it to the, this particular ID. So the value will be account ID. So we are going to take the same thing, which is account ID. My key is a text and the value will be ID. Now that's all we need. Store more action field values. I do not need. In case if I wanted to store more action fields, we can take that, but that should be fine right now. Click on done. So now my resource is ready. I created the record choice set accounts. Edit. Now, which one I have to use? I have to use here the pick list. I'm going to use the pick list. Inside this pick list, inside this pick list, let's give the pick list name as a account name. Let's give account name. And is it required? We can make it as a required. Uh, let user select the multiple options. No, for account, we are going with a single one. Component type, yes, pick list. Choice, I can use the accounts. The one which I have created the record choice set accounts. So I'm going to use the account. Default value, in case if you wanted to store the default value, we can add it. Uh, set compatibility is when to display the component, right? So now let's click on done. Let's save this. Create contact along with account. Fine, let's go ahead and save this. First, I wanted to debug because I wanted to see how it is getting displayed. Account last name is fine. Right, here it is of all the account names. It is showing all the 14 values. Microsoft you know, Accenture. The accounts where uh, industry is equal to banking, right? Yes. So the condition banking. that we have given is when I'm taking the accounts, industry equals to banking. So how many records are there where industry equal to banking? We have Let's put the filter, add a filter, industry equals to banking. Let's say, so how many are there? We have 14 records are there. So Microsoft based on the ID, Let's add the created date. Now 
Okay. So Microsoft, Wipro, Accenture, Walmart, Polstead, these are the values that we are able to see. Right? So only the banking records we are able to see. Now this is perfect. So let me give the value here. New contact. From low. And let's give the Microsoft. And let's click on finish. So what happened? Transaction committed. How the interview started? It started the by this user. And we saw the screen. On the screen, we, we saw the label account name and data type text. And there is a last name. Screen is not visible. Sorry? Your screen is not visible. Uh, yes, you, you are not able to see my screen. Others? It's visible. Um, can you try uh, reconnecting it? Sushma? Yeah, yeah. You guys are able to see my flow screen, right? All done. Yes, ma'am. I'm able to. Okay. Um, so screen, we, we could able to see the screen, last name, and uh, the drop-down list, two text boxes. And as soon as it is committed, as soon as we clicked on next, then it is transaction is committed. Now let's go back to the uh, all accounts, contacts, new one, two, three. Did we create new one, two, three? What did we create it? New contact from flow. So new contact from flow. Let's add field to display, create a date. And again, just one, two, three, Microsoft finish. Hmm. Any record that is committed, choices, Microsoft, let me go this way, let me go to the accounts, okay, let's open the Microsoft, and the contacts, no, it is not created. So what I do is
we did not add any action there so that's the reason you did not display so let's go ahead and add create a contact create contact how many records one contact yes use all the values no i want to separate values uh, which object contact is the object now inside the contact object what are the pairs that we are going to use it one is last name last name and uh, last name from where should i we should we take it we have a last name last and then we need a account. account id where should we take it account id account from name. the pick list From the pick list, what are the account name that we have selected? Right. Now let's go ahead and done. To create contact is done. Save. Let's click on debug. run last name test one two three account as in cheer next and create a record get created now let's go to the contact okay microsoft did we select microsoft no we selected the as in cheer. Test one. Details when it is created right now, 715. Right? So that's how we display the um, record choice, record choice set inside the pick list. Now we are talking also we are talking about the choice. Okay. Let's assume that we have a another pick list. Let's drop another pick list. Another pick list here. Let's say that this is um, industry. Okay. And is it required? Let's put it as a required. Now, in case if you want a multiple options, we can use the multiple options. But right now we'll go with the single. Now do we want it to display as a pick list or radio buttons? Choice. Here I cannot use the record choice set. These are the pick list values. If I go to the account and at the account level, we have a industry which is a pick list values are available. Right, we have a different pick list values for the industry. So all these values I wanted to pull into the flow. I wanted to pull these fields, uh, the pick list values inside the flow. So what I'll do, I'll create a new choice resource. Now here, the resource type is, I'm going to use is pick list choice set. Pick list choice set. So let's say API name is industry. API name is industry and my object is account object. Account object. And data type that we are going to use it is, it's a text field, right? So we have a, all the pick list values inside this. We have a multi-select pick list and pick list. 
So we have a pick list. This, what are the industry we are going to use? That is the pick list values. And the field name is which field we are referring to industry. Sorting order, you can decide it whether you want ascending, descending, or default order that was provided by Salesforce. Now let's start. Okay. Now I have created the industry choice set. Now I can add as many choice also. Now we know how to create a record choice set. We know how to create a pick list choice set. Now let me go ahead and show another choice, which is a customer. So this is a choice. We are done with the record choice set, pick list choice set and choice. Choice is nothing but single pick list value. Single pick list value. So let's assume that this is the API value, which says the true. I'm adding the one pick list value. I'm adding the one pick list value. Data type is text and here the choice label. So choice label is mandatory. What is the choice label that I have to give? So basically in this scenario, we are going to give the choice label name is true. And then I can say text. What is the value? I'll say value equal to, we have something called global constant true. Let's start. Okay, now I'll add another choice new choice, which is a choice. And here I'll say no. And my custom label is no. And data type is no means false. So let's add the false. global constant dot false. Now done. Now let's click on it done. Why it is error. API name is already used another element resource in the flow. Okay. So I'll say industry. Industry, uh, let's take, this is a ACC, account industry. Okay, account industry. Perfect, let's start. Now save. Now let's go ahead and debug. So last name, I have account name, which we are pulling it directly from the record name, account record name. And the pick list values, we have a, all the fields. Along with that, we also have a true and no. This true and no, which we created as right now, which is a true and false. No means false. Right, it is showing the all the pick list values from the account industry as well as some custom fields as well as some custom will these, fields uh, will these values which you created now will these show in the show directly in the contact object also and no it will not show. No. So only in the flow it will show only when you execute the flow that time it will be seen okay so this is the custom pick list values that we have created right now Okay, that is what a uh, choice and uh, pick list choice set. Is it clear how to use the record choice set, uh, pick list choice set, choice? Collection of choice is nothing but, right now choice you are adding the single, single value, right? Collection choice is nothing but where you are adding the multiple custom values into the one collection. Right, so we discussed about the record choice set. For record choice set, what we did, we get got the all the records, all, all account records dot name. So we took this and we were displaying on the pick list. Right. And then we have a pick list choice set. Pick list choice 
that. It is going to pull the pick list values of values of specific field in object. Where is choice set is we can implement or developer can implement their own choice. In drop down, it's display. It's display in drop down. Yes, yes, well, British. It could be a additional extra pick list values that is added to the existing one, or you can create your own because if you do not want to use any pick list values from the uh, Salesforce. So in that case, what you will do is here industry, I'll take out this industry. So what will happen? It will just display the true and new. Save, debug, okay, run. No, I have my own values here. It could be anything. If you wanted to the, if you want to add these custom values with the existing pick list values, you can add it. Or if you wanted to use the only custom values, you can use. Sometimes what happens is there will not be a field inside the Salesforce, but client is expect to have it one field on the screen, which says that yes or no. So in those scenarios, you can simply create a field inside the flow and you can create that pick list choice set. Okay. And any other questions on these three? Okay. Can we create pick list within the pick list? Can we create pick list within? I did not get the question. Uh, like we have the pick list to, uh, we are uh, creating the custom pick list, having a country. Inside the country, we will have the state likewise. Yeah, so country is another pick list values. So for country also, you can create a pick list um, choice set, you can create it and you can add your own country list into the choice set. Okay. So coming to the assignment yesterday, I have not given the assignment. First one, implement a flow as soon as a lead source. We have a one field which is called as a lead source is updated with that. So if you go to the lead object, So if you go to the lead object inside, open up any record, okay. As soon as the lead source, so we have something called lead source. 
whenever we update the lead source from any other to the web. As soon as we update web and click on save, what will happen is it should post a message to the charter. Inside this, we can, uh, as soon as the lead source is updated with the web, then post a message record is updated with lead source. How do you implement this in the flow? Which flow type do you take it? Platform moving. Sorry? Platform moving. My platform event. Uh, because something we can talk after that we have to post it into the chapter. But here I'm updating the record. I'm updating the lead record. As soon as the lead record is updated, then we wanted to show the post. Then we wanted to post the chapter. So which flow do we have to take it? Simply screen we can take and uh, to record trigger. Yes, record trigger flow. Because we are we do not need a screen here. We are directly yeah, updating on the record. So as soon as the record is updated, then we wanted to post a message onto the charter group. So we have to go with the record trigger flow. Next assignment, implement a button, which is called as a update stage button. Let's assume update stage button on opportunity. Implement a button on the opportunity. The button, button name says that update stage. So on clicking of this button, on clicking on the button, which button update stage? On clicking on this button, we wanted to show a screen. Inside the screen, we'll have a field called stage field. stage field and this is a pick list value pick list value right? so user should be able to user should be able to update the stage on this screen and save the record. As soon as the record is saved, it should reflect on the record. Is it clear the requirement? So we have a opportunity. So inside the opportunity, I want a Screen button. Is not displaying. Um, others are able to see my screen? Yeah, yes. Yes, ma'am. Probably you need to reconnect it. So here on the opportunity, we have a take one. Okay, so here I need a one more button, which is called as a update stage. So right now, let's assume that stage is some prospecting, okay? Now here there should be a button which says that update a stage. As soon as I click on that button, it should open up the a screen. It should open up the screen. And in that screen, it should show a pick list. It should show a pick list. So 
So here there should be a one button which says that update screen. Okay, as soon as I click on that button, it should open up the pop-up box. Inside this pop-up box, I'll be having a stage field. This is the stage field. Okay, light is going off. So I'll be having a one pop-up screen here and inside this pop-up box, I'll be having a one field which is says that staging, stage field, right? So this is the pick list value. And it should show here the stage, this is the stage field. So inside this stage field, it should show the existing pick list value that is prospecting. And when we click on this arrow button, we can change prospecting to the any other value. And let's click on it. Let's click on it, done. Like save button will be updating here. As soon as it is done, then here on the record level, we have on the record level, which is going to update it this record level should be updated from the prospecting to the any other value. For example, if we have selected here on the pop up qualification, the record also updated with the qualification. So that is what the requirement is. So how do we implement it? Which flow? Sorry, there was a power cut. Let me share again. Okay. So how do we implement the second one? Screen flow. Screen flow, yes. And the next one is third one. Post a charter. Uh, am I able to, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Which screen are you able to see? Notepad. So post a charter. So post a charter message to the group. Let's say the group name is um, MuleSoft Integration. Integration. As soon as the platform event. Fires. As soon as the platform event fires, we wanted to post a charter message. How do we implement this? Platform event report. Yes. So go with the platform event reports. Next one, interview questions. So first one is, what is platform event? What are the different type of platform event? You already gave this yesterday, ma'am. These were there in the video, yesterday's video. Uh, did I give you the interview questions for that? Yeah. Okay. Now, all related to platform event, right? Yeah. Okay. So interview questions. How to create record choice set. What is the difference between choice set and checklist 
choice set and record choice set. Difference between the choice set, pick list choice set, and record choice set. How to combine custom pick list values to standard pick list values in flow. Here another assignment. Create a opportunity. Create opportunity from the flow. Let's say implement the flow. Create an opportunity with the following values. Now let's go to the opportunity here. What are the fields that are mandatory? Name, stage, flow state. So name, stage. Closed it. Okay. And look up field. Look up field to account. So here you need to implement a pick list choice. Right. This is the date format. And lookup is we have a something called lookup. In flow, we have a lookup. How to find the lookup? Which one did we create right now? H17. Create a contact along with account. Okay. So on the screen floor, you have a something called lookup. So if you drag it here, you can see the lookup, whether it is required. You say true, it is required. Let's say here account lookup. Okay, and the object label, you can give account. Record ID, you have to create a record ID. Okay, try this lookup. If it does not work, then I'll tell you more. Okay, try the lookup. Stage is a pick list choice and um, What else we have? Order number. Instead of order number. Okay. So order number. Implement this as a choice set. Okay. Choice set is one, two, three. Okay. And whenever you select this choice set in the order number, as soon as you, you create the record, the order number has to be populated here. Implement a flow to create an opportunity with the following values. How do we implement this? Screen flow. 
Yeah. And also use the account, which is a pick list. Here I said lookup, use the lookup one. And if it does not work, then use the lookup account with the pick list. If lookup does not work, then go ahead with the, this pick list. We will talk about lookup tomorrow. Fine. Any other questions? No. Okay, then. Okay, we'll meet tomorrow. Thank you all. Thank you, ma'am.